الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه وأزواجه أجمعين وبعد This is Jalal Abu Rub Originally from Palestine From the West Bank, city of Jenin May Allah free Palestine and all Muslim areas And bring them back to Muslims soon I grew up in Kuwait and uh, I started a mission that started in Europe when I was still there in 1979 to call to the religion. And since 1984, I have been calling to the Salafi Da'wah, the way of the Quran and Sunnah and the methodology of the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa radiyallahu anhum ajma'i. So this is my mission to call to the religion. The da'wah to Islam, which is the best job there is. Remember, the prophets and messengers of Allah, their job was da'wah. It is the most honorable job there is. The job of the da'wah has two essential parts. Number one, as callers to the religion, so they need to explain the religion to humankind. Uh, even if they're Muslim, you keep try to teach them about the religion, about the magnificence of the religion, the pillars of the religion, the faith, practices. So this is to invite them to the religion. And you can put a label on it saying, Bashir. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah sent him Bashiran Wanadira. So Bashiran is this one. Don't tell him, invite him, this is what your religion should be, and the promise is with Allah. Jannah. And to talk about Jannah at length too. Wanadira, the Nadir is the warner, someone who warns the people against disobedience of Allah, against false creeds, statements, actions. And against not practicing the religion with the promise that this will end, uh, will, will end to hellfire if people don't die as Muslims. Bashir Wanadir. It's the camera that's moving by itself, it's not me. Um, Bashir Nadir. You call to the religion and you warn, the warn. The warning has to include defending the religion. See, has to include that because explaining the religion, uh, people will attack the religion, will say things, shaitan. So you need to respond. And the Quran, and the Quran is filled with explaining the religion and defending the religion. You remember the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا صَاحِبُكُمْ بِمَجْنُونَ Your sahib, the Prophet I sent to you, is not a majnoon. Defending. I was in Europe um, and then traveled to several other country, countries, ended up here in the United States. And since 1984, I started calling to the way of the Quran and Sunnah and the methodology of understanding and practicing the religion that the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam learned with him. Uh, this is my mission, this is my life. And it includes calling, defending, and warning. It has to include those sections, otherwise just calling, calling, calling without defense, you're defying the Quran to begin with. I mean, clearly. The Quran takes ayat after ayat after ayat defending Islam, defending the religion, the true aqidah, the faith, tawheed. Uh, so you can't say, oh, I'm going to just go positive. Uh, anyway, so this is our mission. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me and my family uh, to produce 
close to 60 books inshallah soon there will be more i finished four and a half books during ramadan i'm working on two and a half more so inshallah soon there will be more than 60. Uh, my family supported me the whole way without their support and their efforts i wouldn't have been able to do all these books uh, my wife is the editor of all of my books. May Allah reward her. And also the editor of all my articles. Uh, tens of thousands of them. We did so many trips to masajid, classes, khutbah. Uh, and then lately, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, media, email forget about it it's been going on for years and years and years subhanallah it became like a, a habit i check the email every day and make it my habit to respond to uh, the emails that ask about the religion the minute i see them from the beginning we spoke about the religion with regards to explanation and defending the religion with ayat and ahadith my hands are falling from the arms of the chair because they're wide. Alhamdulillah, I have a chair to sit on. So, those large number of books, including a half of Tafsir ibn Kathir, Tafsir al-Sa'di, we haven't finished it, Zad al-Ma'ad, Muhammad's role in Islam, 50 righteous uh, and humane concepts brought by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Jihad book, all these books. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed me that I had a family to support me uh, completely and fully until today. Uh, they contain defending the religion, explaining the religion with uh, proofs and evidences and defending the religion against those who uh, commit aggression against the religion either by disobeying Allah or calling to disobedience and of course those who are aggressive non-Muslims who attack the religion. Uh, this is the mission. This is my life. Uh, so I can say lately I've been criticizing some of today's Islamic scholars. See, see this, uh, Islamic scholars who have become famous. And I don't know if this uh, word is even found in English. Famicity <laughs> there Famicity is uh, uh, mainly on the internet, we have, you know, uh, views, 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 views. This is a new word that many Muslims who listen to all kinds of things, uh, views. Uh, I'm going to listen today to a topic about Islam. How many views? 300? Uh, I'm going to go for the 1 million. Those people who I have been criticizing, I gave them years some of them being patient with them responding to what they say without mentioning them hoping that they will inshallah one day repent and take back everything they said because they have to uh, refute what they said about the religion they're saying all kinds of things La ilaha illallah. so just because the internet came now don't think that jalal abu rub suddenly is talking about uh, those scholars of today and uh, inshallah, we'll have another video about the scholars of today and the stuff that they say. And many of the people who are watching these people, some of them are like, some videos are like over a million views. Uh, that's ridiculous. The persons who are saying things about the religion, they're, they're dismantling the religion piece by piece. La ilaha illallah. Piece by piece. And... The people who are watching them, uh, they just like it. Uh, can you move your head? I'm watching the video. One million views. Did you hear what he just about the religion said about the religion? Don't talk about the scholars. No, these are the scholars. We have to unite with Muslims against the kuffar. Well, there is somebody who criticized this man who's been watching his video who says, uh, Buddha in the Quran? <laughs> Buddha in the Quran? He's still looking for Buddha in the Quran. 
and I'm going to respond to him, inshallah. And I, I couldn't find Buddha in the Quran. So you're talking about the scholars. No, don't see that. You know, and some of them become abusive, arrogant, on top of being ignorant at a minimum. And they're standing behind the people who are dismantling the religion. Yeah, Muslims. Yeah, Muslims. They're dismantling the religion. You don't own the religion. They don't own the religion. We don't own the religion. Allah does. And Allah requires from us to defend his religion. And I'm going to mention a story. A story about monkeys. Monkeys. And let's talk about it and see uh, what this story is about. I would like to remind you, brothers and sisters, uh, of this thing. Uh, explaining and defending come together. They are a part of the mission of da'wah. And people like me, and there are so many of them, alhamdulillah, I'm a student of knowledge, will never, in Arabic, len, bi'idnillah, will never stop defending the religion. So you get angry, you get, you know, I just bought some uh, antacid, Give me the address, I'll send you a ton of them. Let's read the ayat and let me set up. The chair is like this. What can I say? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al A'raf, chapter 7, ayat, plural for ayah, ayah literally means sentence, in this case, Quranic sentence. Ayat 163 to 166. Allah says, Wasalhum anil وإذ قالت أمة منهم لما تعظون قوما الله مهلكهم أو معذبهم عذابا شديدا قالوا معذرة إلى ربكم ولعلهم يتقون فلما نسوا ما ذكروا به أنجينا الذين ينهون عن السوء وأخذنا الذين ظلموا بعذاب بئيس بما كانوا يفسقون فلما عتوا عما نهوا عنه قلنا لهم كونوا قردة خاسئين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر والله الله أكبر listen to the ayat and ask them O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and them here is in reference to the Jews they were in Medina with him when this ayat came to him. They were not in Mecca. The Jews did not exist in Mecca, in Medina and other areas. And ask them, O Muhammad, وسلم, about the town that was by the sea when they transgressed in the matter of the Sabbath, Saturday, when their fish came to them openly on the Sabbath day and did not come to them on the day that uh, on the day they had no Sabbath and did not come to them on the day they had no Sabbath. Thus, we made a trial of them for they used to rebel against Allah's command. Disobey Allah. And when a community among them said, why do you preach to a people? whom Allah is about to destroy or to punish with a severe torment. The preachers, the callers to Allah said, in order to be free from guilt before your Lord, Allah, and perhaps they may fear Allah. So when they forgot the remindings 
that had been given to them, we, meaning Allah, we rescued those, we rescued those who forbade evil. We rescued those who forbade evil, but with a severe torment, we seized those who did wrong because they used to rebel against Allah's command, disobey Allah. So when they exceeded the limits of what they were prohibited, we said to them, Allah said to them, be you monkeys, despised and rejected. Allahu Akbar. Yeah, call us to Islam. Those who are hesitant to defend the religion, to mention names of people who commit aggression to the religion in public. If it's in secret, maybe cover, fine. In public, over the internet, then. Oh, defend the religion, you know, uh, uh, it's not my job, or, it is your job. You can't separate the two. You cannot separate the two because they both work together. When they work together, if they don't work together, the religion becomes deficient because all these aggressions against Allah his book, against uh, his Rasul, against the Sunnah, against the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and things that Allah commanded us in the religion, things will be confused for people. At least the Muslims who are listening to these deviants, uh, they will be confused. So Allah says, وَاسْأَلْهُمْ عَنِ الْقَرْيَةِ الَّتِي كَانَتْ حَاوِرَةَ الْبَحْرِ Asked them about the town that was by the sea. The name of the town, the scholars disagreed. It's not important for us to know. So how they ended up with being monkeys? They committed aggression during a Sabbath. The Sabbath, a Sabbath. Sabbath, Sabbath, Sunday, Ahad. They don't sound the same. So the Sabbath was Saturday in Arabic, accept the same word. The Christians uh, moved it to Sunday. When is your Sabbath? Sunday, Ahad. يَعْدُونَ فِي السَّبْتِ إِذْ تَأْتِيهِمْ حِيْتَانُهُمْ يَوْمَ سَبْتِهِمْ So as a consequence, that their fish during the Sabbath, they were not supposed to fish. Okay? The Jews, they were not supposed to fish. Openly, <laughs> like swimming. And <laughs> hey, look at me. <laughs> I'm just joking because to the Jews who were looking at the fish, they were looking, ah, oh, this, what's with the fish here today? وَيَوْمَ لَا يَسْبِتُونَ لَا تَأْتِيهِمْ On the days, the rest of the week, there was no Sabbath, they don't come. شُرَّعَ here مَزْ well, has many meaning, meanings. Uh, I, I made it in a, like a, a little slang joke, but, but actually this is the meaning of it, that شُرَّعَ uh, in a challenge for them is one of the meanings, to challenge them. And they were looking at the fish and see what's going on here. كَذَلِكَ نَبْلُوهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْسُقُونَ This is how we tested them because of their fisk. What's the fisk? Deviation from the commandments of Allah. Disobedience, rebellion. They hear the command, they don't listen to the command. They disobey the command. So what they did is that the Saturday, the Sabbath, the fish are coming. They're not supposed to fish. The rest of the week, the fish are not coming. So it was a challenge for them. And Friday at night, which is Saturday night, Friday before the Sabbath would start, they would put their... Uh, 
whatever they used to uh, catch the fish, either uh, small cages or whatever it is, they would put them just before <laughs> the Sabbath, knowing that the fish is not going to come that day. They're going to... The fish is coming on the Sabbath only. And they are not supposed to fish the fish on Sabbath. But they put all kinds of things in, uh, to catch the fish at night. And then when they finish the Sabbath, they, oh, ah, we don't do anything. So they go after the Sabbath is finished and they catch the fish that they caught <laughs> in their cages or whatever it is they used at the time. La ilaha illallah. So this is fisk. Don't do anything like fishing in specific. Uh, fi don't do things like fishing during the Sabbath. We don't. We just put the things before and catch them and catch the fish after. This is fisk. So the Jews at the time had righteous people and had the Fasiqun, the Sabbath game players. So the callers to the religion tell them this is haram. You can't do it. This is haram. Don't do it. This is disobedience of Allah. Don't do it. This is deviation from the religion of Allah. Don't do it. You've been tested because of your disobedience. You disobey more, you'll be tested more. You see, this is a part of the da'wah. So now those preachers, the du'a, who understood the religion as explanation, this is haram, and defense, do not commit aggression against the religion. minhum. So a part of the ummah during that time, and not necessarily evil people, uh, actually they might be the commoners who maybe thinking, why are you being, you know, so aggressive in calling these people and reminding them and uh, confronting them. So this part, uh, three parts of people here, the ones who committed the fisk, the deviation, maybe the commoners and the scholars and these two, they agreed that this is deviation, but uh, so the second part said to the third part, the callers to the religion, وَإِذْ قَالَتْ أُمَّةٌ مِّنْهُمْ لِمَ تَعِظُونَ قَوْمًا اللَّهُ مُهْلِكُهُمْ أَوْ مُعَذِّبُهُمْ عَذَابًا شَدِيدًا Why do you uh, advise people who Allah soon will destroy them or send a severe torment on them because of their deviation? Why are you calling them? Why are you calling them? And uh, like I said, these people are not necessarily evil. They might be the majority of people who are, you know, because the Bani Israel had many segments of them who were worshippers of Allah. They were believers, our brothers and sisters, Muslim. What did the scholars and the preachers, the dua said? قَالُوا مَعْذِرَةً إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ To be, be free from guilt with Allah, that he knows we're doing our job, we're protecting his religion, we're calling people to his religion to obey him, to be free from guilt before your Lord, Allah. Maybe these people would listen to us and actually, you know, be afraid of Allah and stop all this deviation. So when the segment that was uh, transgressing the Sabbath and doing other things, uh, it might be the majority, whatever it is. So, so when these people who were committing the aggression against the religion through disobedience, they forgot what they were commanded. They forgot. Not that I can't remember. They forgot it meaning they ignored فَلَمَّا نَسُوا مَا ذُكِّرُوا بِهِ The uh, statements of Allah and their prophets and their scholars. أَنْجَيْنَا الَّذِينَ يَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ السُّوءِ Those who call to the religion and the brothers who are listening to me here who are shying away from confronting 
the deviance. So when the punishment came, the punishment came, Allah saved whom? Anjayna. We saved alladheena, those. Yanhawna used to forbid anissu evil. وَأَخَذْنَا الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا بِعَذَابٍ بَئِيسٍ بِمَا كَانُوا يَفْسُقُونَ But those who committed the aggression against the religion, the disobedience, the rebellion against Allah's commandments, Allah took them and seized them with a miserable punishment because of the fisk deviation from the religion they used to do. فَلَمَّا عَتَوْا عَمَّا نُهُوا عَنْهُ قُلْنَا لَهُمْ كُونُوا قِرَدَةً خَاسِئِينَ So, when they were rebellious and insisted on doing what they were forbidden through the revelation from Allah that came to them through their prophets and through the scholars who were telling them, don't do it. They were rebellious again, they were arrogant, they were aggressive uh, aggressors and they were like uh, being uh, in rebellion, uh, reaching a level that deserves what happened to them after. Then when they did not listen and continued stubbornly on what they were forbidden from doing, Qulna, who said, Allah said, Qulna, Lahum, Kunu Qulna, we said Lahum to them Kunu, be you Qiradatan Monkeys Khasi'een Despised And rejected So Khasi'een has the two Meanings in it Despised and rejected Who's going to take this? I'm the children of Israel who were rebellious until today and forever will have this stain on them. Allah turned them into monkeys. Allah turned them into monkeys. Uh, of course, that generation that was turned into monkeys, they perished. Uh, don't think that the monkeys of today are related to that. No, it's what a generation, they were uh, transformed to being monkeys and they all died. But uh, uh, here's what I'm going to say. Defend the religion. Be nice and kind to those who are defending the religion. They're explaining the religion to you, giving you evidences to defend the religion. Uh, they're being nice and kind to you so we can stay away, all of us, from this kind of punishment, from the fisk deviation, and from being punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Support them. Don't be unkind to them. Don't be... I'm trying to choose the word. Let's not choose a word. Uh, don't be those who are helping the deviants continue by keep watching them one million views for this video. Uh, here is a good lecture here. How many views? 300. Ah, I have this one here. Uh, it's a million views. And this man says that uh, Buddha in, in the Quran. Buddha in the Quran. Ah, Buddha in the Quran. I, I worked hard to find Buddha in Quran. I couldn't find him. He's not there. Open the Mus'haf. There is no Buddha sitting there. But what about uh, understanding the religion? Yeah, these people, you know, keep telling us, yes, no, halal, haram. Uh, and this guy, you know, he's leading us straight. <laughs> straight to where Allah knows what. Uh, somebody who doesn't uh, die on Islam is not going anywhere good. So support the scholars. Don't be abusive. I promise you, let me promise you something. If punishment will come to those who are deviants and you're the ones who either by your words, 
you defended the religion, you told them, you know, you rejected what they uh, said or did, or those who supported those who are doing this job for you, Allah will save you from the punishment. This is the ayat. Those who keep going this way, this way, and this way, uh, wake up. You're still alive. Use the opportunity to thank Allah. Thank Allah. Oh Allah, you gave me some more time in this life. Let me obey Allah. An obedient, an obedient slave to Allah. What does he do? He explains the religion or helps those who explain the religion and promotes them and defends the religion or helps those who are defending the religion. This is obedience and savior, saving, being saved from punishment is the good result. For those, other than those, Allah turned them into monkeys. Let me end with this. Abdullah ibn Umar radiyallahu anhuma heard people talking about some ayat in the Quran. He said, ah, this is about the Jews. This is for the Jews. This is for the Jews. <laughs> and he said to them, ah, you're having a nice life. If all this criticism in the book of Allah is only about the Jews, not about you. Why do we have this story? So that we don't fall into the same ways of the segment among the children of Israel that was disobedient to Allah, even kuffar. And we follow the ways of the children of Israel who are believers, who followed their prophets, because these are our brothers and sisters. And today we are doing the same thing they're doing with our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the Quran and Sunnah. Uh, so don't think that these uh, warnings are just stories. No, 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 no. Those who do the same thing will end up with the same thing. Do you know, and I'll talk about it inshallah in another video, uh, do you know that some of the Ummah of Muhammad also will be transformed into monkeys and swine? I ask Allah, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save us from disobedience and to make us among the righteous. And I promise you, brothers and sisters, people like me and a lot of them, so many of them, alhamdulillah, we promise you, we will never stop. <laughs> we will never stop. Uh, until we meet Allah, then we complain to Allah from what the people did to us when all what we wanted to do is tell them, here is the road, no, to the right. Here is the road to Jannah, and here is how to go there. Please come with us. Let's try to go by the help of Allah. And only Allah chooses whom he wants to be his neighbors in Jannah. And this is now, this is the left. And this is the road that goes to Jahannam. Don't go there. And these are the things that lead there. We ask Allah to save us from Jahannam. And in the end, I say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.